The fight to keep a small strip of Manly foreshore in public hands has headed to the courts. Residents oppose the sale of two harbour front properties, saying the area should remain as community land. Manly Council, though, says it needs the money to provide services for ratepayers. A peaceful strip of Sydney Harbour, now the site of a bitter community battle. A line drawn in the sand between a council trying to balance its books and a community group desperate to keep this land from developers. The biggest fear is losing publicly owned Harbour Foreshore land, denying the people of Sydney access to this beach. For 40 years, Manly councils have been trying to buy these houses and turn them into parkland. Number 34 Stewart Street was acquired in 1977 and the property next door in 1998. Last year, Manly Council bought number 40 for more than $4 million. The mayor says that purchase put them in debt, forcing the sales of 34 and 36. This is totally against a long-term 45-year vision that successive councils have held to over that time to create a community park. We need places in Sydney where the public can interface with the harbour. They can launch their boats, they can take their kids to the beach. The council denies that selling the properties would reduce access to the water or facilities. The thing is storage will be kept, uh, will be kept under a, uh, a restriction on the land. Um, and, and anyone who is concerned about that aspect of it um, needs to be assured of that. But the residents have taken the fight to the Land and Environment Court, successfully securing a delay. The council had been planning to sell these two properties by the end of the month. However, today's decision has postponed that. Their fate will now rest with the outcome of a longer court hearing at the end of September. Lucy Carter, ABC News, Manly.